Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review of The Companion. Now The Companion is a an interesting game that was recently released on Nintendo Switch. It had previously been released on PC. Uh, it's developed by David Fazio and Studio 46. Came out back in, I believe, sort of 2021. So it's a couple of years old now, but it came out in um, April to Nintendo Switch, published by Red Deer Games. Now, this is basically a story like narrative driven game where you play as this sort of three-tailed spirit animal fox sort of thing basically exploring the spirit realm now the, the the proper description and I'll, I'll not spoil the story it's, it's kind of difficult to explain anyway but it says journey on a quest of purpose and fate explore a magical and beautiful world where visions of a past present and future guide you Collect essence and find artifacts that aid in building a link to the corporal realm. So, yeah, that's it. it it's basically a extremely pretty, very sort of stylistic walking simulator game where you basically run around these beautiful environments and there's a variety of different environments you get to experience. Collecting um, collectibles and slowly but surely unlocking the stories through these like visions now the game takes about six to seven hours depending on how quick you play through it there are seven different areas across seven chapters and um, so there's a, a nice variety of different sort of scenery to see as you play the game looks great and sounds great like i say it's got a great little soundtrack it's very artsy it's very indie i love it it reminds me of a game i played last year i think where you were playing as wolves as well i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head but it was uh it definitely gave me vibes of it and i was like oh yeah that 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 reminds me of that game now the the downside to this game like i said it's gorgeous it looks great and like i say it's got lovely voice acting as well for for like an indie game is the narrative is a bit all over the place it's not like linear it's sort of things and visions pop now and then all over the place and it kind of gets a bit difficult to sort of follow on with like a cohesive story um and a lot of the game is literally just walking around looking for um these collectibles now the majority of the collectibles you can find in one playthrough they're like runic stones uh, if you do miss them you can go back and replay areas to get them and stuff like that but other than that, that's about it really. You'll slowly progress through. You'll sort of interact with these stones as well to um, summon other spiritual creatures to you and stuff like that. It, it, it's very interesting in that sense. Now, I had a problem with this game. It, it, not in terms of the game itself. I didn't really find any bugs or anything like that. Sometimes the camera wasn't perfect for me. But in terms of gameplay, I didn't run into any issues. But on the Nintendo Switch, I wasn't able to capture any footage. So um, when you know when you can you can record through the Switch, it, it was blocked. So that must have been a publisher or developer choice, which makes obviously doing these videos very hard. I ended up having to obviously um, look elsewhere to get footage. But the game itself is really enjoyable. It's one of those sort of chill, relaxing games where you don't have to worry about combat, enemies and stuff like that. You basically just meandering along at your own pace, um, looking to create a connection to obviously the real world and stuff like that, and slowly but, sure, uh, slowly but surely sort of uncovering the actual story and stuff like that through these visions that are dotted around. Now, the game is priced at £17.99, so definitely check it out if you are interested, and that is on the Nintendo Switch. Um, it is also, obviously, available on Steam, but having it on the go, this is one of those games that you could sit with it on your knee, having a play and stuff like that, laid in bed having a play, you'd be proper chilled out, you wouldn't be stressed about it or anything like that, and you'd probably have a really good time playing it. 
So check this out. It's called The Companion and it's available right now. And big thank you to Red Deer Games for sending us a copy of the game on the Nintendo Switch so we could play through it to do this review for you. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more gaming content. Bye for now.